Hey guys, Dale Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a pre-chat survey question from Omnichannel for customer service with Power Virtual Agent to get data from the customer who initiated the chat. This was actually something that I needed to set up myself and I had a little bit of trouble finding how exactly to do that. So I figured this will make a great video uh, and to share this information with you guys. So let's talk about the scenario, but before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about how my tenant is set up. So I have two separate environments in the same tenant, and one has Dynamics 365 for customer service and Omnichannel, and the other environment has Power Virtual Agents. Then what I did is I integrated Omnichannel for customer service with my Power Virtual Agents. Then I went into Omnichannel and I created a few of the pre-chat survey questions in Omnichannel for customer service. Now, certain pre-chat survey questions can actually be used in Omnichannel for customer service to identify the customer who initiated the chat if that record actually is in Dynamics 365. And I did that by using a pre-chat survey question that is asking for the email address. So what I wanna do here is I actually want to get the unique ID of that record in Dynamics 365 and then bring it over to Power Virtual Agent. So the way I can do that is I'm actually first going to store the raw data in Power Virtual Agent, but that's the raw data. So what I need to do then is I need to actually call a Power Automate flow and I'm gonna send the raw data in there. Then I'm gonna parse that data by using a parse JSON action. And then I can actually get the unique ID of that customer record or contact record in my example so that I can use data from that contact record. And that could be related data, obviously, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and greet the customer by their first name. And then obviously we can continue to chat from there. So this is that record that lives in my customer service application. And this is also the record that I will be using. So let me just show you first real quick how this works. I'm just gonna grab this email address here and then I'm going to show you how that would work in my chat bot. So I'm gonna initiate my chat. You can see here some of those pre-chat survey questions. What is your name? What's your email address? What's the case number? I'm just going to enter the email address and then I'm going to hit submit. And I actually created a testing topic here. So let's just give it a second. Okay, so I'm going to type in testing. And it wants to know which one I meant. And as it's running that flow, it's now pulling back that first name that it found because I entered my email address in a pre-chat survey. All right, so now that we know what we're doing here, let's take a look at that setup. So the first thing I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go here into Power Virtual Agents and you can see here this is my testing topic. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go to the authoring canvas. And what I did here is I started with a question. So I can actually do that here as well. I'm going to say, ask a question, right? And this is not actually a question that, as you saw earlier, that the person who engages, who starts that chat will see. This is just where we're gonna store that variable. So you're gonna, you can put anything in here, variable. I can say this is actually the user's 
entire response. And then this is what's important, how we're going to save that response. You can see here that it says var by default, but what I need to do is I need to set this to a global variable and I want to make sure that external sources can set the values. Then what you need to do is you actually need to change the name. And I already did that. I'm actually going to go back. I'm going to delete this here so you guys can see how that was set up. So if you click on here, right, I set it to this bot, any topic can access, and then that external sources can set values. And then you want to make sure that this is what I'm going to copy this. I'm going to show you in notepad what that looks like. So this is that MS dyn underscore contact underscore msdyn dot ocl live works work item underscore customer and this is actually something that i found on one of the doc sites so that's where i found that and i will drink i will also drop the link to that article in the comments as well so that's what you want to put in here to again, just store that data. What we're gonna do then is we actually want to create a Power Automate flow. So your step here is gonna be, let's see, call an action. And then we're going to create a flow. So you can see here that my Power Virtual Agent first step and last step are already there. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add an input and that's going to be text. And this is where that raw customer data is going to flow from Power Virtual Agents into my flow here. So what I want to do here is I want to go back here to Power Virtual Agents and I want to copy the name of this variable because that's what I'm going to use here. So that's that bot. Let me go back here to my notepad. So you can see that the only thing I need to do is just add bot dot and that's the name of the variable in Power Virtual Agent. So let's go back to the flow here. So that's what we're pushing. Oops, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. That's what we're pushing from Power Virtual Agents into flow. Now I already built this flow obviously. Um, so let me show you what, that's fine, what that run looks like. So what is actually coming in from Power Virtual Agents into Flow? You can kind of see that here, right? This is my output. So there's a lot of data here. This is that raw data. And what I want is that record ID. So I need to go ahead and parse the JSON. So let me just go ahead and do that. So my next step here is going to be a parse JSON step. I'm going to click right over here. And then what I want to do here is I want to get this customer data in here, right? So I'm going to say customer data right over there. Now, let me again pull up that flow that I had already built. Let me see here. Where is it? Here's my run history again. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste this output. So I'm going to say, oh, let's do all and then copy. And I'm going to click here on generate from sample and I'm going to paste it right over here. And as you see, it now just enters the schema automatically, right? So let me actually copy and paste that so you can kind of see what that looks like. Let me put that in my notepad. So this is what that looks like. And I actually wrote an article about this as well. So I will drop the link to the article in this video and you can go to my article and just copy and paste this. All right. So then the next step that I need to do here since I just parsed that JSON, if everything is working the way I want it to work, 
I'm now actually getting that unique ID, right? So I'm going to go ahead and now use that ID to query my database. So I'm going to go ahead and do a get row action. And as I was saying earlier, I have this, um, my customer service environments in a different environment there than where my Power Virtual Agent lives. So that's why I'm using this legacy uh, Microsoft Dataverse connector here. So I'm going to say get a row and then I'm going to select the environment. There you go. I'm looking in this case for contacts. There you go. And I need the identifier over here. Now, what I said earlier is not completely correct. Um, yes, I parsed the JSON, but I'm still going to get an array back. So I can't just click here on record ID because then I'm going to get, well, I can do it and kind of show you, right? I get the apply to each and I don't want that. So let's remove this. Let's move this again out of the apply to each. Let's delete the apply to each. And what I need to do here is I need to use an expression and I just want to give a shout out to Taylor Bechtold, who's a coworker of mine who had this figured out in like five minutes. So thank you so much, Taylor, for your help. So what you're going to do here is I'm going to paste this, in, this expression in here, the body, right? Whatever came out of that parse JSON. Uh, I just want the first record, which is that record ID. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And as you can see, now I don't get that apply to all step. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to return text because from this get row step, I want to go ahead and I want to put in the contacts first name. And of course you can pass more data back as well. Right? So I'm going to say first name, and this is from my get row step. Here we go. And that's all that we have to do. Make sure that you actually name, right, this, this flow correctly. I actually named mine. Let me just go ahead and say, right, press, pass pre-chat survey customer data. You can then go ahead and save it. And then once you have that saved, let's go back here, right? I'm just going to go ahead. Let me just delete these steps here so I can just put it back together. Right, so here's still our first question variable. I'm gonna go ahead and now again say colon action. And we should see the flow that we just created. Here you go, Power Virtual Agent Pass Pre-Chat Survey, Customer Data. So this customer data field in that flow, right, this field, right, I wanna make sure that that's where the information is coming from. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select that variable, right? Then you can see here, it will get me my contact first name. And then you can either write, add a quite, you know, add a question or you can add a message or whatever you want to do. But you also, if you have existing questions, you can plug it in here as well. You can say, hi, and then I'm going to say contact first name. What can I help you with? And we saw earlier how that worked. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Take care, everybody.